All right, guys, there she be, the Ithaca. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. Uh, it's been disassembled and reassembled a few times, uh, as well as Duracoated a few times. However, I wasn't totally satisfied or happy with the Duracoat. Uh, it works um, and it holds up rather well. Um, but I noticed that it, uh, I had taken it to the range a few times and just laying it down, it tended to do a little bit of scratching and nicking. So, I mean, it, it was character marks, you know, uh, something that's going to happen, but I just didn't really care to have them on there. Uh, right after painting it, nor did I feel that really had to do that, uh, or should have done that rather. So uh, I stripped it all down and brought it back to as close to normal as possible. A friend of mine was over here one day when I was working on another gun, and he had never worked with Duracoat or, or anything like that, so when he seen this out, uh, he had asked what I was doing with it at the time. I told him that I was going to be repainting it and he had asked well listen I've never done anything with Duracoat. Would you mind if I uh, if I did it? So I said, no, it's not a big deal. You know, I mean, you know, you, you really can't ruin the gun You know unless you you know pour paint into the action or something or you know wreck the barrel or whatever so you know, it's an Ithaca. It puts up with pretty much any abuse that you're gonna give it so uh, I told him go ahead. So while I was working on another gun, uh, he decided to Duracoat this one. And what he'd done, he blacked out the whole gun. He sprayed everything black. Then he took some white and a brush and he put a couple of little swirls or ocean type waves here and there throughout the gun. Now, it looked like shit. But I'll tell you what, if he had some experience behind him, um, it, it, it could have been a nice looking piece. So the idea was right, just that he didn't have the ability or the experience to make it look like he was trying. So this was all blacked out. So for me to get it back to as close to normal as possible, you know, I had to sand down the stock and the forearm, you know, the, all the furniture, so to speak. And, uh, and at that point, sandblast the gun itself you know, the the um, the frame, the barrel, the feed tube and such, and uh, redo it. Now, I've been using the Cerakote lately, and I tend to uh, use the heat treated uh, whenever possible. Now, because you have to put it in the oven, you really don't want to do anything that's uh, made of anything other than metals because you don't want to end up with a pool of plastic and uh, a melted gun in the bottom of your oven. So if you're going to use the heat treat, you really got to watch what you're doing and what you're using it on. Uh, their C, which is air cured, um, apparently is just as good and I've used it. On, uh, on a few guns that you can't throw in the oven and it, and it works so uh, you know it seems to be okay as well I'm just kind of partial to the the epoxies and the hardeners and the baking of the paint so but that's old school I guess but anyway there she is as close to original as possible um, I can't remember the exact color. I knew it was a little different than this. It was a little darker, a little deeper. I think it had a little more green in it. Um, but this is as close as I can get to it uh, or remember it. So there she be. And this is where I'm going to leave it. So with that said, guys, there it is. Final. Done. No more. I don't care how much character it has or how many scratches it gets. Um... There she be, you know, I don't plan on pulling this thing apart anymore or doing any more to it. It serves me well. It works well. I've had it for years and years and years. I don't remember how many years. I think I took this to the Academy my first time back. I think that was in 92 uh, is when I put this one in. I'm not sure. It might have been sooner, but I'm thinking it was 92. Oops, sorry guys. Um, by the way, I'm using a new camera, so the autofocus is kind of screwy. I gotta get used to it. It's the Canon T4i. 
uh, I bought this for one reason basically uh, my oldest son is getting married so I figured I'd buy a camera and take some pictures I haven't bought a new camera in 35 40 years <laughs> uh, never really had a need for a decent camera um, you know, I've been buying a couple of these JVC you know $200 camcorders and things and but other than that I really never had a need for a camera so I gotta get used to this one just a Canon T4i uh, it's alright uh, I just gotta get used to it I'm not used to all these lingo and uh, and uh, and such you know like what the hell is raw you know I have no idea what raw is you know back in my time with my little Minolta 103 35 millimeter film type uh, you know I never heard of the raw before so but anyway guys here we are new camera new finish on the gun and we'll see what happens catch you later have a good one